In the East County, they are about to cut down the trees at an apartment complex in Alpine. It is a massive project firefighters say is needed. But not everyone is convinced. Our Brian White is working for you to clear things up. I just spoke with a woman who reached out to us here at the Alpine Village Apartments, and she's concerned about what's going on. If you look around here, you see all kinds of trees everywhere. Tall ones, big ones that have been growing for decades, and many of these will be cut down. Crews are already at work removing shrubs and clearing any vegetation or trees that sit within five feet of the apartments here. This is going to be a massacre. And, you know, these are living beings too. It doesn't make sense to me. Anna Rivera has been living in this complex for five years and she actually moved to Alpine because of the trees. I cannot just sit down and, and accept it because I'm just renting here. I know this property doesn't belong to me, but trees belong to everybody. She and others who live here received a notice a couple weeks ago that many of the trees and shrubs were going to be removed for fire prevention. I don't think that trees that have been growing here for decades need to be cut down. So I got to work and called the management office. Thank you for calling Alpine Village. After explaining I was with CBS 8 and why I was calling, I was quickly cut off and put on hold. And they gave me a different number to call. We are sorry. There is no one available to take your call. So I paid a visit to the Alpine Fire Protection District to see what rules or laws may be at work here. There's a new zone that's known as Zone Zero. This is the Ember Free Zone. Jason McBroom is a fire marshal there at Alpine Fire, and he says a new state law, SB 63, went into effect last year. It applies to Alpine and other unincorporated areas, requiring that combustible materials be cleared out within five feet of a home or any structure. During a wildland fire, wind-driven embers are going to hit the exterior wall surface and fall straight to the ground. These are hot burning embers that are smoldering. If there's nothing that can burn, that raises the chances of the structure surviving a wildland fire immensely. Meanwhile, Anna's at a loss as to why so many trees need to be cut down, especially with all the shade they provide and all the wildlife this would affect. Look at all these trees over here. Look around you. Everything is going to be cut down. Working for you in Alpine, Brian White, CBS 8. Here at CBSA, we want to help solve problems affecting you and your community, or at least get your questions answered. If there's something you'd like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.